Welcome to the thinking skills section, which will start off with discussing thinking and abstraction. Abstract thinking is an essential skill to master because it enables you to separate ideas from the situations you experience and then go on and apply them to a new and different situations that you'll experience in the future. You know how everybody talks about understanding the bigger picture of things that we experience in life? Abstract thinking is the key to seeing that bigger picture and having an overall wiser outlook on life than most people have. So to best explain this concept, we need to compare it to its opposite, which is concrete thinking. Concrete thinking focuses on material objects and how they interact here and now. Concrete thinkers are too literal. They will fail at grasping any concepts that govern how these objects interact to then apply these learned concepts to a different set of objects at a later time. Abstract thinkers, however, will succeed at grasping the concepts from the situation and seeing the underlying patterns which can then be applied to a different situation. Let's consider this basic example to illustrate the difference between abstract and concrete thinkers. Here we have four squares that can be moved around and if we align them in a certain way we get a bigger square shape. Now what pure concrete thinkers learn from this is that if they got four squares together they can organize them to form a bigger square and for them to apply what they learned in the future they need the same exact problem to solve. Four squares that need to be aligned. What abstract thinkers learn, however, is that squares are four-sided shapes and that some four-sided shapes can be aligned together to form a bigger, similar shape. So if they encounter a problem with four rectangles instead of squares, they will be able to align them into a bigger rectangle because they have learned the underlying concepts behind organizing squares and they are able to apply what they learned to a different problem. But will these beginner abstract thinkers be able to solve a triangle problem based on what they learned? Probably not. That's because they were not able to abstract the square shape problem to a more than a concept of four-sided shape. So when they encounter a problem with a three-sided shape, their minds cannot see the application from the square problem. However, better abstract thinkers will further abstract the square shape problem they saw to a concept of regular shapes and that some regular shapes can be grouped together to form a bigger similar shape. So if they encounter the triangle problem they will recognize that triangles are also regular shapes and what they learned from the square problem through abstraction can be applied to this triangle problem. So now that we have established what abstract thinking is Let's try to apply this skill to a real-world example and see how being abstract thinkers can improve the quality of our thinking and thus our lives. Say you happen to be in a relationship with an emotionally abusive partner called John. Sorry to all the Johns out there. As concrete thinker, you cannot separate the behavior from your pana because concrete thinking is always connected to people or things. So you will think that this particular partner is the problem and if you replace this partner with another, then the problem will be resolved. Now because you fail to learn what abuse is in principle and what personal traits are associated with abusive behavior, you will risk ending up with another abusive partner because in your mind, John was the problem, not the abusive nature of John. But as an abstract thinker, you can think of the abusive behavior abstract from the partner. Think about what is abuse, what personality traits are associated with it, and what tell signs to look for to detect abusive behavior early on in a relationship. The skill alone will dramatically reduce the chances of you choosing another abusive partner because you know your real problem is with abuse itself, not just John. So, the question remains, how do we think in abstraction? This skill requires time, thought, and experience. But every time you encounter an issue that requires thought, do the following. Step back from the problem. Do not get stuck on details, on people or things. Ask 
why a person or a group or people act this way why does an object behave in this manner what analogies can i draw from other life experiences what can be learned from this experience without mentioning the people or things in it apply the skill to every aspect of your life your relationships jobs politics habits and see if your understanding of these aspects of your life will change and ultimately improve your thinking and your quality of life someone said great minds discuss ideas average minds discuss events small minds discuss people to that i say abstract minds discuss ideas average mind discuss events and concrete minds discuss people thanks for watching and if you found this content useful check my full course on skillshare where you will get a full month premium subscription for free